Okay, so in this problem we have to solve this equation. So typically in problems like this, uh, the goal is to get rid of the fractions. But before we do that, we should rewrite this in a nicer way. Uh, this piece here on the bottom should factor nicely, so let's try to factor it. So this is 9 over, so parentheses, x, x, and then parentheses. And typically it's going to be like x plus 2 times x plus 5. These problems are usually rigged, so if I put a 2 here and a 5 here, um, you can see that it will check. Uh, if you do x times x, you get x squared. If you do the inside, which is 2x, times the outside, which is 5x, you get the middle term, which is 7x, and 2 times 5 is 10, so it does um, actually check. So 5 over x plus 2 minus 3 over x plus 5. So really good trick in these problems is if you have to take a guess for factoring, just take the product of these, and again, these problems are always like set up to work, um, so it works out quite nicely. All right, uh, now we have to get rid of the fractions. So in order to get rid of the x plus 2, we're going to have to multiply um, by x plus 2. And in order to get rid of the x plus 5, we'll also have to multiply by x plus 5. So if we multiply by both x plus 2 and x plus 5, we should be able to get rid of all of the fractions. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on this side, x plus 2, x plus 5. And what you do to one side, you do to the other. So x plus 2, x plus 5. All right, so on the left-hand side, the x plus 2's cancel, the x plus 5's cancel. So we're left with 9 equals. And now let's go ahead and distribute this. So I'm going to go ahead and actually show the work. So it's 5 over x plus 2 times x plus 2 x plus 5. Then minus 3 over x plus 5 x plus 2 x plus 5. Okay, that's, that's an ugly 2 over here. Let me fix that. that I just made it worse. Okay. Uh, all right, so this is 9 equals. Well, fortunately, the x plus 2 cancels. So we're left with 5 parentheses x plus 5 minus, and then the x plus 5 cancels, 3 parentheses x plus 2. Okay, let's see what happens here. So this is 9 equals... So 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 5 is going to give us uh, 25. Then distributing the minus 3, minus 3 times x is minus 3x, and minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. This gives us 9 equals, so 5x minus 3x is 2x. And let's see, uh, 25 minus 6 is 19. We can subtract 19 now. So minus 19, minus 19. That gives us negative 10, right? 9 minus 19 is negative 10. And that's equal to 2x. We're almost there. The last thing to do now is divide by 2, divide by 2. That gives us negative 5 equals x, which is the same thing as x equals negative 5. And whenever you have problems like this, you're supposed to go back and check. Whenever you have uh, these fractions in the problems, you want to make sure you can plug your negative 5 back into the original. And as you can see here, you can't. If you were to put a negative 5 here, you would get negative 3 over 5 plus negative 5. So you would get negative 3 over 0. And you can't have 0 on the bottom, so this is no good. This won't work. So there's actually no solution to this problem. So I hope this video has been helpful.